had about 200 followers when I started doing it um, and it just kind of took off overnight you know that I had a thousand by the end of the week and then it wow. kept going so yeah I think I'd, I don't really understand how Twitter works but sometimes things just kind of explode don't they right, right. Um, and I've never really had one tweet that's gone viral uh, I've had a couple that have got over a thousand likes or so but you know that's sort of not really on the scale of some things that you know hundreds right. of thousands of people see so yeah when I started, I've managed to do one a day, more or less, for Ow, the rest of amazing. my holidays. Yeah. Um, but that was while I was on holiday. And then I went back to school and I was kind of doing it once every couple of days. And then I've always found at the end of term, it kind of got harder and harder. Right. And then the last, like this last term, um, I've done... I don't know, maybe two or three since September. I've just been exhausted. So I think right. it's quite a, it's very odd. It's sort of a way to, I don't know, it's odd to have a way to like quantify how uncreative you're feeling. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so have you heard of Ed Southall and Vincent Pantaloni's book? They've got a book called Geometry Snacks. Uh huh. Which, basically it's full of this kind of puzzles um, yeah I love it so uh so I had a copy of that book and I was sort of doing those puzzles while I was on holiday and then I joined Twitter and was doing kind of other puzzles that people post on Twitter and I kind of ran out of things to do so I started writing <laughs> my own I suppose <laughs> um I just started doing it while I was on holiday one year yeah so I had a lot of time on my hands um, I was actually supposed to be on a walking holiday, but I forgot to bring my waterproof and <laughs> we're in Scotland where it rains quite a lot. So uh, everyone else went out walking and I stayed in and made <laughs> positive. <laughs> That's funny. I, not as, yeah, I started doing it for my own amusement. I mean, I, right. it was just kind of a thing to keep me entertained on holiday and then keep other people entertained. Uh -huh. um, I mean, my main entertainment comes from, I, I really like seeing how people solve them. I right. find that quite fun and then obviously there are quite a lot of people who enjoy solving them so it's you know you get a bit of a endorphin rush don't you oh, yeah everyone's uh liking your things 